Hello, this is Jane Goodall to announce a very special day. On the 14th of July represents the 60th anniversary of when I first set foot on what is now the Gombe National Park. It was the Gombe Stream Game Reserve back then, in the days when Tanzania was still Tanganyika, part of the crumbling British Empire. What a lot has happened since then. And because 60 years is something of a milestone, the Jane Goodall Institutes had planned a year of amazing celebrations and galas and fundraising. Well, the COVID-19 pandemic has, has uh, made us change our plans somewhat. But we still hope, no, we plan. We still plan to celebrate these amazing beings, our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees and in particular the chimpanzees of Gombe. What a lot they've taught us. They're still teaching us. And I want to celebrate their, their beingness. I want to remember all the incredible individuals I got to know so well and whom I'll be reading about uh, on, online in, in The Shadow of Man, recapturing those early days. And the chimpanzees have also taught us a great deal about understanding our place in relation to the natural world, in relation to the other animals with whom we share the planet. And so it so happens that right now chimpanzees are endangered in some places like the West, uh, the Western chimpanzee is critically endangered. And there's deforestation, of course, and also there's hunting, there's hunting for bushmeat, and there's the, the trafficking, the live animal trade. This COVID-19 pandemic, we brought on ourselves, and it spilled over from a wild animal into a human. Nearly all the new diseases that afflict humans have spilled over from animals. And this trafficking, where animals are sold in unhygienic conditions, in the bushmeat markets in Africa, in the wildlife meat markets in Asia, create perfect conditions for the, the virus to spill over from an animal to a human. And this can include chimpanzees. So we have to stop the trafficking. We have to stop using chimpanzees for entertainment. We have to protect their forests. Destruction of the forest is also forcing animals into closer contact with humans and leading to spillovers and new diseases. So uh, July the 14th also happens to be the third World Chimpanzee Day, and a day when we hope to raise awareness about the plight of the chimpanzees as well as celebrate their beingness all around the world. So everybody who's listening to me, I hope that you will join the 23 Jane Goodall Institutes and the Roots and Shoots groups as we celebrate the chimpanzees and get together and show that we really do care about protecting these close relatives of ours uh, into the future. And I especially am thanking all the students, the field staff, the researchers, everybody who's worked so hard over all these years to gather up an accumulation of data that will soon be available for scholars all over the world, especially Thank you to the Gombe chimpanzees themselves. Especially thank you for David Greybeard, the first individual to let me get close, who proved that chimpanzees can, like us and many other animals, use and make tools. So thank you for listening. Please join us.